this is my iRobot Scuba. I've had this thing for uh, about eight years. I uh, added it up, looked up the date. It's actually closing in on nine now. It's worked flawlessly for me, but it is getting a little old. I'm starting to have some errors here or there, but it still cleans. still does a good job, so I'm going to keep running it, keep putting parts on it as long as I can. However, the wheels, uh, these, I don't know if you can see, there's barely any tread left on these little wheels. They wear down over time. I've put them on before, especially those. Look at that. I mean, that's just an absolute flat spot with almost nothing. Just uh, barely a faint image of what was once there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these wheels that I found on eBay. They have a slightly different tread design, but they'll at least allow it to grip the floor a little better and to get rolling once again. So I'm going to readjust the camera and we're going to change out these tires. Wheel replacement is pretty simple on the iRobot Scuba. You just need a Phillips head screwdriver and replacement wheels. Tires, whatever you want to call them. Technically they're wheels because they're the entire apparatus. First thing you do, there are two tabs right here. You can barely see them, but you just press in on them. And just pull in. You could pull out this whole wheel motor assembly, but I'm just going to tilt this up just enough to get to my screw here. I'm going to loosen the screw. Actually, kind of difficult to do when I'm looking through the camera to, to see what I'm doing. I'm going to take the screw out. That'll allow me to remove the wheel. You can see everything looks good there. So you just give it a little inspection. Bushing still looks good. But again, look how, how worn out those are. Poor little tires. That is, that's a lot of floor cleaning. Look, they're even chipped up right there. That's a lot of floor cleaning. Let's compare that to the replacement. And you'll see, same with everything. See that different tread design? It's a newer design, I think off the 400 series design. Supposed to give it a little more traction. It feels a little more rubbery than this. This always just felt like foam. So I'm going to get these put, and there's little tabs. Can you see those appearing there? What it is, there's two little tabs that are on these, and you just line them up with these slots there. So I'm going to line that up, then I'm going to put my screw back in. It's that simple. And just snug. This is obviously going into plastic and there's not a lot of need. And then once you're done, you just press back down to re-engage down there and you're good to go. Go back in and you repeat the same process for the other side and you are done. That is wheel change on a scuba floor cleaning robot from iRobot. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.